we are now going to look at acid-base neutralization reactions. There are several definitions of acids and bases. The first one is the Arrhenius definition, in which case the acid produces the hydrogen ion in water and a base produces the hydroxide ion. Although in water, We don't find the hydrogen ion all by itself. That's just a bare proton. So it's attached onto at least one water molecule, the hydronium ion. So we often show this as a hydronium ion. And both acid and bases are corrosive. An acid can eat through a steel drum, the base can eat through a, a aluminum and other types of metals. Uh, both of them can eat our flesh. So they're corrosive substances. And when we mix them together, we make salt and water. Salt is a generic term for ionic compound. So it forms an ionic compound in water. And it neutralizes those corrosive properties. And for most of them, when the two reactants are aqueous, the net ionic is going to be the hydrogen ion plus hydroxide ion will give us our water. So here we have phosphoric acid plus potassium hydroxide. We want to write the complete balance equation. The salt is going to be potassium phosphate. Phosphate, PO4, has a three negative charge, and potassium is a positive one. So we need three potassiums, K3PO4. So that's our ionic compound. We're going to form water, H2O. So we need three potassiums over here. We have three H pluses, three OH minuses. We're going to make three waters off of this. And compounds in water, we have AQ for aqueous, but water and all in water, we just call liquid. So that'll be L for liquid. So here's another one, nitric acid reacting with aluminum hydroxide. Aluminum hydroxide has a very low solubility in water, so it's going to be a solid generally. So again, we're going to form a aluminum nitrate. Aluminum has a three plus charge. We see that with a subscript three right here. The nitrate has a minus one charge, so we're going to need three nitrates to make this a neutral compound. And all nitrates are soluble. So this is going to be an aqueous compound, aqueous salt. We're going to form our water. And let's balance this. We need three nitrates. So we have three nitrates. Now we have three H pluses, three OH minuses. That will produce three waters. And in this case, let's do the ionic equations. Uh, so because the solid here is not going to come out to the standard net ionic, this would be the net ionic for this first reaction here. So for the complete ionic, we're going to break apart the hydrogen, the nitric acid. So we have three H pluses plus three nitrates. But the solid will remain as a solid. We're producing the uh, aluminum ion. Plus the nitrate. Plus the three water. So looking at the product side, we have an ion here, two ions actually, a aluminum ion, but aluminum ion is not showing up here, but the nitrate ion is. So the aluminum ion is not a spectator, but the nitrate is a spectator ion. 
we remove that and what's left will be our net ion. So we'll have our 3H plus plus the solid aluminum hydroxide. We'll give us our aluminum ion. Plus the three waters. 